So here we have May 2004 General Conference Leahona, and here we have the June 2004 Leahona. Um, the regular size Leahona is about 48 pages. So this is the June version, which I got before May's because May is the general conference issue. And um, let's just see how many pages this one has, just for reference. Um, 144 pages. Also, very nice picture of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles because we've got the first um, British slash English apostle there. Um, could it be something to do with the Archbishop of Canterbury being called the Apostle to the English. Possibly, possibly, because that got mentioned in the Prophet's book. Anyway, moving swiftly on. So as you can see, this is 48 pages. This is 144 pages. It goes into great detail, which is nice for those that like deep diving. But for those that find General Conference overwhelming, and it can be, this is just get a nice summary Always like that. So you get morning, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. And then conference talks are available, obviously, on the website as a video. And you can also read them there. So we've got sustaining the general authorities, etc., etc. Audit report. And then we get the talks. And then after each talk, you get the notes. So you can look it up for various scriptures anything else that they may have mentioned in the hymns, you know, so you can really deep dive your doctrine. Same goes for the ladies' talks, the notes, and it just sort of goes on and on. And it can even reference Leah Honer articles of the conference talk. So you could be referencing a conference talk from another conference talk from another conference talk. Yeah. So it's basically word for word in here, though I do know at some Sometimes they do change some of the words purely because people speak on inspiration and then they go off topic, I believe. So, yeah. So they're all there. And remember, this is a morning, Saturday morning session, Saturday afternoon session, Saturday evening session. So that's already six hours of conference just there. And then you've got Sunday and then you've got morning and afternoon of that as well. So it may say that it is two hours, yes, but there's loads of singing and obviously you've got the closing and opening prayer as well. So two hours may very often. So you've got two, four, six, eight, ten. So basically ten hours. See so if we can get this video in under five. We probably won't. Under five minutes. So... First Presidency, Quorum of Twelve Apostles, Presidency of the Seventy, Presiding Bishop Rick, so they deal with all the tithing, Relief Society, Sunday School, Young Women's, Young Men and Primary down at the bottom. And then you've got the general authorities of the Seventy as well. These change quite regularly for a whole variety of reasons and personal circumstance. So these are the people that lead and govern the church. Basically... So we are halfway through, so three minutes. It's a big issue. A lot of reading. People forget that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is a very literate church. We've got four books of scripture, two general conference issues a year, plus Leahona, plus Friend, plus New Era slash Strength for Youth. Slash come follow me manual. <laughs> That's just the basics if you're an adult. Then there's a whole truckload of other stuff, like preach my gospel and other things. The influence of women. This is not from General Conference. This is from a worldwide relief society devotional um, from March. So that's how far back we're going. We're now in June. Then we've got Elder Patrick Kieran. All about him because he is the new apostle. Placing Elder Ballard, who has passed on. And then we get little blurbs for the new area 70s that have been called. No, these are the general area. General Authority 70, not the area 70s. It gets confusing. There are loads of 
councils. It's bonkers. Streamlining. I'm all for streamlining. The statistics report. I like data. Then we've got new temples. There's always an update on the new temples. Ministry of the First Presidency, so where they've been going and what countries they've been seeing. Then obviously we've got the church acquires Kirkland Temple and other properties from the Community of Christ, uh, which is the cousin group. So these are the Mormons that didn't go um, with Brigham Young to Utah. They stay behind with um, Emma Smith and Lisa Matt Smith. They stayed there. Um for a whole variety of reasons, some cultural, some spiritual, some generally, yeah, it's complicated. It's like when a family member dies, um, what do you do about the inheritance? You have a great argument, and that's basically what happened. Um, and these two split off. Community of Christ tends to be more liberal. Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints does not. Then we've got language interpretation for general conference. Then we've got teaching and applying, activity ideas. Then we've got more credits. Oh, look, the topic index. Lovely. And the speaker index, which makes it very useful because it is 144 pages. I love a general conference issue, but I mean, that is just fat. This is why I prefer to read the Liahona, and I have gone over the Liahona. I mean, the um, Strength for Youth magazine general conference issue. It's just so much easier and quicker, you know. I think that that's important, but we've got to think of a way of streamlining some of this. Streamlining. I mean, the church audit department, that's the same thing every year. I know it's got to be included, but come on. Streamline, streamline, people. We've done it with Come Follow Me. We've got to streamline everything else. Because look. There you are. Ah. Liahona. And then scriptures, then talks. Yeah. Because it, yeah. So this is basically the end of the video. So this is the May Liahona. This is the June Liahona. Yeah. Also in regular Liahona, there tends to be more spacing between stuff. So it does make it easier to read. You know. And more accessible. So you've got nice contents and then so on and so forth. It does, you know. And they do try. But I mean, this is just relentless and they do try with the pictures and stuff from general conference but it is so crammed and it's three column whereas this tends to be only two column which does make it more accessible and more readable to be fair and I think they've got to look at that see that's the three column one but that's rare very rare it's not as cramped see that's very very cramped and remember this is very very white paper as well so for folks that may need you know like overlays or stuff this is just too dense so that is that i hope you've enjoyed this please like comment and subscribe and if you've not put a comment down below and let me know what you think about the general conference magazine because it is so fat and why do we have to i know we have to wait a month because they've got to transcribe it and send it out and then post it from utah or all around the globe you get it but if you compare it to a regular liahona you know it's this is just far more readable this is just never-ending death by words i know i know it's important but we've got to sort of figure out a way of cutting some of this down so that's basically it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Bye.